Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a picture of a drummer who's got a magenta light on him, but what if we say we wanted to get rid of that light and bring him back to a more natural colour? Uh, we can look particularly at his shirt, because that's a white shirt, and with the magenta on, light on it, it's showing white. So let's use the channel mixer to fix this. So down to adjustments. There's the channel mixer, and let's bring that up here. So in here we need to use RGB thinking. And RGB thinking is you can think of each pixel. Each pixel's got a red, a green, and a blue in it. So what's happening there? Well, on his shirt here is there, there is magenta, which is red and blue. And if we could turn the green up as well, it'd go to white. So let's go to the green channel. Now we're thinking, if we think, turn up the green, let's just turn the green, what happens? Yeah, the background goes up a bit, his shirt's affected a bit, but that thing over there has gone horrible, hasn't it? So let's turn that down. What we're thinking here, because the channel mixer says where there is colour X, turn change colour Y, and that colour Y is green here, so there's red and blue in here, so we could turn, t take either of those turn those up and there we go look at this it's going white so we're fixing this here by turning up the blue because we're saying where there is blue add green which goes with that adds up and it makes white now of course we've got the background gone green because there's white in there uh, sorry blue in there as well so we can have a go at fixing that by bringing this down. And if we use the 100% rule, we came up 66. So we want to go down 44, which is going to be around about the similar sort of level. But if we want to go a bit further, that's OK, because in the end, we're fixing what we want. And then maybe we can play with this one as well, and so on to get the colours you want in the background. But the C we fixed this here, so we don't need to change that blue. We've got this white again. Let's have a look at another way of doing this. And that's by saying, we want to change magenta. Why not go to the magenta channel? That's in the CMYK. So when we switch to another uh, colour model here, by the way, it loses everything you had before, so don't just switch backwards and forwards. If you want to change, use one uh, colour model and then another, bring in a separate layer to do that. But here we go. Now they're in magenta, so we want to get to the, in the CMYK, the magenta channel. Here we go. So now we can change magenta. Here we got, we've got magenta and we want to get rid of magenta in the magenta channel. So we just go to the magenta. I can pull that down. That goes down quite easily. And there you go. That's really nice, isn't it? That's it done it even better. But now the background's gone a little bit on the yellow side. But it's okay because we can say where there is yellow, add magenta. And what will that do? Yeah, that brings that up a bit. That bounces that out. So we can bring that up to wherever we want it to be. And go get it a lot of magenta or oh, somewhere in the middle. And we can play with other things as well. But this is the idea is that with the channel mixer you say there is x where there's x put y and that lets you do that even with rgb and also with other color models like this anyway there we go thank you very much for watching